my whole first time everything is game. I, I get home after a long day of school and hop on the game. I can do things I can't do normally in life. For these students, spending 40 hours a week learning about coding, animation, and building a video game is their perfect summer. At the Urban Arts Summer Camp in New York City, more than 100 high schoolers from lower income households do exactly that. I wasn't able to make one by myself like I'm doing now because I would end up getting too frustrated and just quitting altogether. The free camp teaches students high-level tech skills like programming language and game design. They also receive career advice and are encouraged to stay in touch with their peers and teachers. Since its creation in 1992, Urban Arts has served 260,000 students. The College Access program began in 2017, and ever since, students have earned up to $25 million in scholarships and have all gone on to attend college. So I went to the NYU Game Center, and I actually went debt-free, so I have no student loans because of Urban Arts. Data from the job research website Zipia shows video game designers in the U.S. are about 68% white, 12% Asian, 9% Hispanic or Latino, and 6% Black. The camp's mission? To create access and opportunity for students of color. You feel like as in this is all in your grasp. Like it's, it's all coming to you and it's all for you. It's meant to be for you. Many alumni return to give back to the camp. Darcelis Gutierrez still remembers when she was 16, living in Brownsville, Brooklyn, and scared to pursue a career in gaming. At Urban Arts, she is now a full-time faculty member. The second I got here, it was like magic. It was perfect for me. I felt like not only was I kind of exercising a part of my brain that I didn't realize needed exercising, um, but also the fact that I was able to be creative. She compares the creative process of making a video game to writing a journal entry, personal and cathartic. I had a lot of moments where Sometimes I couldn't articulate how I was feeling or what I was going through. And I think with games, a lot of our students kind of resonate with the idea of, I may not be able to explain this, but I'm able to let you experience it. Daquan Griffith came to Urban Arts when he was 17 and began volunteering when he started college. He says seeing his students tell their own story is the best part of teaching. We give them the confidence to talk about their work and bring it to other people so that they can be like, hey, this is what I made and this is what it shows about me. Six weeks and 240 hours of programming later, students leave the camp with a portfolio of games they have created. Good storytelling, amazing visuals, like amazing gameplay, like all of that coming together to make just a fully fleshed out game like really brings me joy. And a feeling of hope for the future of the gaming industry. You're gonna have so many mixed Asian, black representation in the game industry now. We are here now, this is us.